The Wheel of Cut playoffs. In the first ever season of Wheel of College Ultimate Team, we went five and one in the regular season. There were some very close calls, some huge plays, but finally we've assembled an 82 overall team stacked with so many stud playmakers, and it's finally time for the college football playoffs. Make it through the college football playoffs to earn your shot at the national championship. First things first is today, the college football playoff quarterfinals. Obviously, Honestly, from here on out, we gotta go undefeated or there's no chance that we move up. Our team is ready. Marcus Mariota, our team captain. Ollie Gordon with some depth. Jalen Buckley, Jaden Higgins, Travis Hunter, Isaiah Nayor, and Mike Evans. Marky Mark Andrews with a beautiful offensive line. Still looking to get a backup tight end and a fullback on offense, but it looks great. Defensively, I really do want to get Jason Henderson out of here. Ray Lewis, Erlacher, and Shamar James have been awesome. Dante Trader Jr., Miles Scott, they're budget beasts, man. These guys have been playing their hearts out, even though they're only 81 overalls. Denzel Burke, Will Johnson, James Pierce Jr., Connor O'Toole, stuck. Studs. Studs everywhere. But Victor Oladipo, Ruben Bain Jr., Ahmad Towery leave a lot to be desired. So my goal today is to get those guys upgraded. Now keep in mind for the playoffs, I only get two wheel spins. We get three each episode in the regular season, but by this point, we should have a really solid squad. So we got to make these spins count in the playoffs. Two wheel spins on the wheel of cut. Looks like it's gonna be Legends 83s. Oh, I'm trying to think, there's not a tight end, is there? So each Legend that drops, like Ray Lewis and Brian Urlacher, they each have an 83 overall edition. Uh, I'm a little worried about this. Hilariously, we have an amazing option here. Booger McFarlane is an 83 overall Legend. We really do need a new D tackle. I have, like, it's been such a weak point on this defense for so long, and if somebody in the playoffs is gonna exploit it and just run at the middle, I would be in a lot of trouble. Booger McFarlane, 83 overall D-tackle. This is exactly what we need right here. That's a really good start. Our second and final wheel spin for the playoffs. This is scary, but I'm hoping for something big. Three times traded packs or a team wheel jackpot. Let's go. Awesome spin here for our first playoff game. Keep in mind, there are all 134 programs on this wheel, so we really don't get to see anything until we get up close and personal. The California Golden Bears? Ah, uh -huh. I feel like they should have some good enough guys, right? Okay, so Cal has 84, 85s. They've got David Reese, a right outside linebacker. They've got a quarterback, a left outside linebacker, a right tackle. Yikes, that actually is not that good. 82 to 83, got a middle linebacker. Is it? Hmm, don't like this. I guess we take the right outside linebacker and put him in for Jason Henderson. Here's David Reese out of Cal. He's actually fast as shit. This is a really good linebacker. 6'2", 240 speed rusher with 82 speed, 83 XL. He's a really, like, I'm not gonna say he's a bad linebacker. It just isn't what we need right now. What we really wanted there was a corner for Ola. Depot or potentially a backup tight end. But David Reese, I am excited to have you on the squad. We now have a absolutely dominant linebacker core. Before we were kind of skating by on linebackers, but I'm gonna put David Reese in here for Shamar James. And I'll put Shamar James in for Jason Henderson. We now have a very competent linebacker at every slot. I can also make McFarland a rush D-tack, put him in at D-tackle one and move Ruben Bain to D-tackle two. So two huge defensive additions. It's just we left a massive hole. Seiyi Oladipo at corner three is a glaring hole on this defense. I just have to pray that my opponent doesn't see. Because if they see that, they're going to attack it all game. Either way, defense is kitted out. There are no silvers left on defense. That is so exciting. Headed into our first playoff game, there's one silver remaining on offense. I still got to get Mark Andrews some depth, but we are on the right track, baby. I can't forget the challenge wheel. Dude, I whiffed it so bad last game. 300 plus passing yards. I did nothing. Give it to me again. Oh, the spread is minus 14 MMG going into our first playoff game. So to complete this, I must win the game by more than 14 points. It's that simple. Also for a rage quit, I will count this. So if they rage quit at any point, challenge complete. Shouldn't go saying something like that. What I need to go do is hop into this game, get a W and worry about nothing else. The All-State Sugar Bowl. There is Will Johnson, Marcus Mariota, and Brian Erlacher heading up our top three. He's got the limited McCaffrey. Oh shit, that McCaffrey is a nightmare. He's got an 82 overall. We've got an 82 overall. It's the, it's a Sugar Bowl. I want 
wonder if, if it's, do they, you think they randomize the bowl game? Or do you think it's always the All-State Sugar Bowl here? I wonder, but Shamar James is coming down center lane. Starting out on defense, my favorite way to play football. Stay locked in, gentlemen. It's the biggest game of our lives. It's the biggest game of our lives. And I'm not on her lacquer. I am now. We're gonna guess pass here. Just gonna throw a nice, easy whip route. Dude, you think Ollie Gordon's fast? That McCaffrey has plus three speed. This is going to McCaffrey, probably a stretch run. I gotta get on Miles Scott. There we go. We knew it was coming, right? It does look like his offense is a bit anchored by McCaffrey. Almost like he went budget players at every other position so that he could afford McCaffrey. Because it doesn't look like anything else on his team is particularly expensive. So if we key on McCaffrey, this could be a really good game for us. One more pass to McCaffrey, and like I said, man, he's so fast. We just gotta keep hitting him. We gotta get him wear and tear. Big hits on McCaffrey. That's the name of the game right now. And there's McCaffrey cutting it up the middle. McFarlane, Booger McFarlane, baby. That's why we added you. Second and 11. By the way, boys, as you're watching this, I am currently in Europe. Probably blackout hammered at a club in Barcelona. So I hope you guys are having a spectacular day, and I wanted to apologize in case any of my prestiges got an upgrade. There's a chance that, you know, a new Travis Hunter came out and I just can't add it to the team right now. But um, I love you, you're handsome. And it's third and nine in our first playoff game. Uh-oh, I just switched stick on accident. Shit. Although I'll be honest, I don't think I was gonna cover that anyway. Oh no, he does have 8,500 Renfro too, and he's really expensive. So he's got McCaffrey and Renfro, and he's got a white tight end. Hmm. And he's got Will Howard. Hmm. Is he building the grit squad? Oh, big hits only, big hits only, big hits only! Ray Lewis! It's gonna be all about wear and tear. First and 10, he's gonna go with a whip route, isn't he? Wow, he keeps hitting these little baby seams. This is a run play. Though. Oh, is it not? What is he running? He's got absolutely nothing. I dare you to throw a football here. Let's go! I don't know how that was in a fumble. Rocked him with Ray Lewis as he tried to throw. Empty trio. All right, I've got QB spies. I got everybody in something here. Interesting play call. McCaffrey can't get it. Third and goal. Let's go in no huddle. I'm dropping in zones. I've got QB spies. What's he gonna go for here? Hey! Look at the defense! A huge goal line stand and he is, what? He no huddled that? What on earth is going on? Is he actually gonna come out and try this? Oh my God, is, is Gun Empty Trio again? I think I go Dime Blitz. <laughs> he went corner route, McCaffrey! The pass, he should have made that pass. It's the same issue I've been having with Mariota. The quarterbacks in Ultimate Team aren't good enough to make every throw yet. They sometimes just miss, and at literally the worst time, he just missed the throw. That is brutal, my friend. Oh shit, oh shit, shit, shit. That is the backup to Mark Andrews, not Mark Andrews. So of course he's not gonna run that route well. Ugh, I saw him break. I thought it was Mark Andrews. That's exactly why I wanted to upgrade that backup. I shouldn't have thought that was Mark Andrews. I just I did because I'm being stupid. He's gonna hand this off. Oh, that's really bad. The freest speed option. But well, we know we can stop him. Dude, he he chopped and cut on that corner route like he had 55 speed. You know why? Because he has 55 speed. Although I'll tell you one thing right now, buddy. You should not have showboated. That was a big mistake. Let's hit the ground game. First and 10. Didn't get enough out of Ollie Gordon recently. Damn. Ollie takes this one for eight. Second and two, he continues to rock three down linemen. Interested to see how that pays off for him. It appears our friend here only rocks three down linemen. There's another eight yards for Ollie Gordon. I'm gonna milk this clock too. We can pull all this clock down, score with no time left and get the ball at half. Be a beautiful drive for us. Gonna speed option to the edge here on second and two. Very bad, very bad fumble. I tried to pitch that earlier. Third and six. Ooh. Nice ball, Mariota with a beautiful pass to pick this up first and 10. We'll go right back to Ali Gordon. Nothing on that one. Ooh. They just leave Ali Gordon wide fucking open and you miss that, are you? Oh my, how do you miss this throw? What on earth is that? That's just 
the, the textbook easiest throw there. That's really frustrating. Just going to leave the exact same throw. Take it for seven, but now we've got a really big first down to pick up. See how this looks on fourth and three. Just got to make this beautiful. Beautiful work, Mariota. First and goal out of bounds with 22 seconds left. Take the clock back to normal, and we just got to get this in the end zone. That was such a big pickup on fourth and three. First and goal, big plays. Big plays. Ollie Gordon, edge, edge. I'm going to go out. I think I can get a yard. I want to burn more clock. I like my odds. I like my odds for a yard. Goal line fullback dive to the silver fullback. This is risky. <laughs> He's going to walk it in. Clay Russell has two carries, two yards, and two touchdowns on his career. And that is what I call efficient clock management. With 15 seconds left at 7-7, to seven, we get ball at half, so we've got to hold this man for 15 seconds. Can we do it? That's the question. Sorry, Ali Gordon. I know that could have been your touchdown, but... Wow. Part the Red Sea. Luckily, Trader Jr. collapses on that and keeps him out. Does he run a corner route out of McCaffrey again? No, just misses a throw there. Second and 10. Jesus Christ. So yup! We held him up long enough. He could have had a field goal. That is crazy. He could have had a field goal, but we held him up long enough that that took too long. I was going to say, though, he went, he went too deep. He needed to step out of bounds. Seven to seven. And just like that, the perfect clock management. Also, you might have been talking shit. When I went out of bounds with Ali Gordon, but guess what? We burnt an extra two seconds. And those two seconds were the difference between him getting a field goal and him getting nothing. Let's go put in a touchdown. Okay, so he jumps early. I'm gonna take, technically, yes, Mike Evans, very open. Those are the safest yards. I can throw it haywire. I can technically throw a pick with a bad enough ball. Let's see if they continue to leave Ali Gordon. Oh, uh, no, that's pretty... Pretty guarded. That is not. Oh, what a ball. Mark Andrews over the top. This is quickly becoming one of my favorite plays. Gun trips versus Z Finn. Out of Oregon's playbook is looking nasty. I don't think they're leaving Ali Gordon anymore. Risky ball. But it pays off. That's so fucking risky. Why are you in three down linemen? He's still in three down linemen. I'm, I'm so shocked. Mariota is so much better when he's rolling out than when he's in the pocket. It's frustrating. Maybe a Travis Hunter touchdown. No, he sees it. He was peeling back to that. It's almost like he was trying to bait me into throwing that. Regardless, first and 10, easy pick up Ollie Gordon. And uh, let's just get this in the end zone and take this lead. I'm gonna try to roll out right and make this a touchdown, Mike Evans. Oh yeah. Oh, back across. Oh my goodness. They leave Jaden Higgins. He was exposed for a big hit. Nice. He was exposed for a big hit, but Jaden Higgins is a big boy. That makes me feel a lot safer. If that's a 5'11 wide receiver that I'm throwing that fucking hospital pass to, we might just fumble right out the gate. Second and two. I'm going to hit him with the inside zone. Been a whole lot of passing here. Looks like he's ready for it. I'm going to cut it back up, though, with Ali Gordon. Ah, uh, we lost a yard on that play. This is not the same defense I'm used to. Who's on Ollie Gordon? Should I say who's supposed to be on Ollie Gordon? Shit, that's really good defense. Fourth and three, coach wants me to go for it. I kind of want to kick this. I think this game will come down to one possession. I'm going to kick this. Should be an easy kick there. It is. Ethan Sanchez drills it 10 to 7. Not proud of that. I had a great drive getting all the way up there, and uh, we just couldn't convert right there. I'm glad we didn't risk it, though. This is such a close game. It's in the playoffs. I really do think it's going to come down to a single possession. Just got to get in the end zone next time. For sure. Also, I've stopped him on defense once. His only touchdown right now is when he started the drive on the seven and he went speed option. We stopped him. On his opening drive, we did stop him. So we got to remember that as we try and pull this back here. Who is Franks? Big hits on McCaffrey. Keep him fatigued. I like it. James Pierce Jr. and Erlacher. Little combo there. He's an I form pro in second and seven. I actually don't expect the stretch, but there it is. Getting to the edge with Erlacher, diving like crazy, but McCaffrey is literally the fastest player in the game right now, so it's going to be tough. I really thought we had that though. Switch up his formations now. Definitely could be a run to McCaffrey again. Let's play action. He's got a whole lot of nothing. But Will Howard will step up, take eight yards, steps too easy. Another run this time. I'm getting on Trader Jr. to blow this up. 
Just a left side eye form, big hits on McCaffrey is what I like to see. Fourth quarter starts, he can't clock cheese me. There's too much clock and he's too far up the field. I'd be worried about him using all the clock and then scoring a touchdown, but I don't think it's possible, not with the two minute play, play action. I was just about to say he's gonna try that! Will Johnson! Biggest play of his life to this point. Around Will Howard, inside the lineman, Will! Fucking Johnson! You shouldn't have showboated! Let's go! Hit six! Can we run back that McCaffrey showboat? But he went up seven to zero. Can we run that back? Because if I remember correctly, hold up, let me punch in this two point. Get shit on. Because if I remember correctly, this game was seven to zero. I'm on an 18 0 run. There's two minutes, 44 seconds left. All timeouts, two minute warning. The ball game ain't over. Oh, but I can smell the semifinals. First and 10. Opening plays got a Texas to McCaffrey. McCaffrey is the only man on earth catching that football, but he got rocked for it. I know that McCaffrey's hurting. He can't cheese me with that McCaffrey anymore. And I don't even mean cheese, I just mean that McCaffrey is so fast that he's gonna be faster than anyone on, on my team. But with wear and tear, he's not. If he's fatigued with wear and tear, he's not faster than everyone on my team. So he can do as he pleases. He's gotta score real fast. Seriously? Will Johnson with another massive play. Will Johnson's making play after play. And this is why I said seriously, like, Oh my God, what a play. Don't let him in, don't let him in. Yes, I need, yep, this will use the two minute warning. Presumably, it will, it'll use the two minute warning. That's massive. Okay, two minute warning came off. If he had scored that, still had the two minute warning, this would be a lot scarier. And he's still not in the end zone for the record. I think he's gonna come out in I-form. No way you're doing this again. I'm so shocked. I'm on Ray, cause I'm trying to cover McCaff. Oh, jet sweep, of course. Will Johnson! Damn, he almost made that play. I should have known. Jet sweep is so good. He's going for two to make this a three-point game. Kind of expect a run. Oh, nasty RPO. Dude, he went in his playbook a little late. Like, can we be real? Onside kick? No, kick off? So you're going to try and stop me? I'm bringing this out with Mike Evans. All right, we need to go ball carrier conservative, that's for sure. Wow, he scored so fast. Kind of should know that I'm going inside zone. Wow, he just gave up a lot of yards on the first play where I can shoot clock. Going halfback ISO behind Clay Russell here, second and one. I was not expecting that. Third and one, that's game. Well, no, 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 no. He has all three timeouts, but it's very close. Okay, well, this works. I mean, that's that's basically what I said would happen. Could have taken the first, actually. Should have dove forward and gotten it, but it's okay. It's second and one with 22 seconds left. He has two more timeouts. The conservative route is to go inside zone here. And that, my friends. <laughs> Shouldn't have showboated, buddy. Ali Gordon! 10 attempts, 97 yards, and a touchdown. Damn, this was a battle. But it looks like we're gonna come out with the lead 25 to 15. He would need a kick return touchdown, an onside kick, and another touchdown in the span of 13 seconds. It's good news for us. He's an all-out Hail Mary. And he's just gonna snap pad for it. The All-State Sugar Bowl, our first playoff game. Look at that, 15 points in the fourth quarter. That's how you clutch the game up, boys. Will Johnson wins player of the game as he should. Will Johnson had the craziest pick six, the game ceiling pick six. Without that, this was gonna be a very scary game. And Ollie Gordon with ball carrier on conservative decided to house that anyway. And just like that, gentlemen, we secure our dub in the quarterfinals. Unfortunately, my challenge was to beat a spread of minus 14. I win the game by 10 points. So had I gone for a touchdown there at the end, I guess technically I could have taken the spread, but I don't think that was worth it. I think we made the right call. It was an incredible game. I honestly would call that a legacy game for Will Johnson. I forgot to look at the stats because I'm a casual, but I do know that Ollie Gordon had nine carries, 97 yards and a touchdown. Mariota looked really good in the sky. Everybody played a really, really, really good game. I'm so proud of this team for what they accomplished. 
English today. Phil Johnson, you were definitely the right call on a prestige. And moving into the semifinal game, we'll have two more spins. I think we got to look at getting Oladipo out of there, potentially upgrading one of these safeties. Definitely looking at a backup tight end. This is why I threw an interception. I saw my tight end about a break and just instinct tells me to throw that, but I threw it to Gervais Johnson. And Gervais Johnson has 65 speed. Of course, he's going to get undercut. I also wouldn't mind a fullback, but you know what? Clay, Clay Russell's low-key a Mormon legend. This guy soaks his way into the end zone for two rushes, two yards, and two touchdowns on his career stat line. Kind of legit. Hunter Higgins, Mike Evans, our wide receivers are nasty, and oh, I'm just really excited, boys. It's been an awesome season. Hey, I love you guys. I'll see you in the next episode. Peace.